So our next story today from CNN.com. This is kind of scary. Beijing approves experimental COVID-19 vaccine for use in Chinese military. Predictable, still scary. The Chinese government has approved the use of an experimental COVID-19 vaccine for the country's military, the latest step in a global race to stop the deadly disease caused by the novel coronavirus. I mean, already, oh, geez, I have to translate from, you know, mainstream media propaganda speak. The latest step in a global race to stop the deadly disease caused by the novel coronavirus. Yeah, technically the disease is deadly, but, you know, that's... That's just, I mean, it would be like calling Donald Trump, uh, you know, a, a gentleman because he once held the door open for someone. You know, it's just, it, it's, it's really, a, do you call every disease with this mortality rate, again, which is lower than the mortality rate of trying to spend a counterfeit $20 bill in Minneapolis, like really, you're gonna. That's how you're gonna. Just the characterization here is inherently designed to make you afraid. The vaccine, known as AD5-NCOV, was jointly developed by the Beijing Institute of Biotechnology, part of the Chinese government's Academy of Military Medical Sciences, and vaccine company CanSino Biologics. In a statement to the Hong Kong Exchange on Monday, CanSino announced that China's Central Military Commission had given the vaccine a military specially needed drug approval on June 25th. The special permission will last for one year and will only apply to military personnel. Now, there's some disturbing element of this that should keep you from ever enlisting or taking a commission in the US military, let alone the Chinese military, because the American military is on the same thing. I remember when I went to boot camp, they don't tell you what you're injected with, they just line you up and you, you roll up both sleeves on your shirt, you walk through a gauntlet and you take a step and they go, boom, boom, both shoulders. You take another step, boom, boom, one more step, boom, boom, and there's a few more steps, but there's two shots. Every time, and then you get to the end of the line, you pull your pants down, and you get another one in the butt cheek. And people were sick after that, like people in boot camp. You get weird. It's it's not all good for you. Surprise, surprise. And even the, the anthrax. I was supposed to get the anthrax vaccine. I got the, it's a series of shots in the military. I was supposed to get smallpox when I deployed to Iraq, and I was like, hmm, hmm. Can I get out of this? No. Oh, but we're out of them right now. You're going to have to get it in Kuwait. I went to Kuwait. Uh, hey, Staff Sergeant, I'm supposed to get that smallpox. I'm going to go to the clinic and uh, see if the corpsmen's, if, they, if, they, if they're, they're doing them here still. And I go, oh, we're out. We don't have any. Come back next week. And I, as I was walking back to my tent, I was like, uh, and if I don't, if I forget, is anything going to? No, nothing's going to happen. So I got I got one of the uh, the anthrax series and then get my smallpox and surprise surprise I survived Fallujah 2004. But I didn't feel good about being a guinea pig, being a pincushion for who knows what pharmaceutical companies are taking advantage of the situation with the U.S. military. Now, the hypocrisy in China, which is the government of China has repeatedly manipulated their statistics. And we've seen this. I mean, going way back, you just, surprise, surprise, can't trust the chi -coms. Yeah, the Chinese communist government lies. They lie about their statistics with corona, too. Surprise, surprise. And now, here's the thing. This vaccine, they're giving an experimental vaccine to the Chinese military, despite the fact that or to CNN, China has repeatedly insisted that its military has remained unaffected by the pandemic, with officials claiming that the People's Liberation Army has 
not recorded a single coronavirus case. Really? So this thing that's not a problem, you're going to address with a big solution. Okay. U.S. observers, however, have cast doubt on the claims, noting that the PLA is among the world's largest standing armies, making it statistically unlikely that its personnel have not been exposed to the virus. Neither the Chinese government nor CanSino have said how broadly the vaccine will be distributed, which units were selected, or whether it will be mandatory or voluntary for personnel. <laughs> Here's a clue. It's going to be mandatory! Now, what, what's their excuse? Well, oh, it, nobody in our military has gotten the virus, and we want to keep it that way. So we're going to make sure that they all get this vaccine. So how effective is the vaccine? Like, we can look at this thing. They're not, it's not like totally a black box. According to Cancino, they've already completed the first and second phases for their trials. Previous results of 85 NCOV trials published in Medical Journal of the Lancet were met with a lukewarm response by experts. According to the study, almost half of 85 NCOV vaccine recipients reported fever, with 44% describing fatigue, 39% reporting a headache. Overall, 9% of patients described side effects that were severe enough to have potentially prevented activity. Speaking to Chinese state-run tabloid Global Times, Li Daguang, a professor at the National Defense University of the People's Liberation Army, said the authorities had followed normal procedures to approve the drug for military use and that its special status would change future development or marketing. Until now, when I have said the cure is worse than the disease, I was referring to the lockdowns, the shutdowns, the government financial manipulations, the forced unemployment, all of the economic suffering, Americans at each other's throats over masks. Until now. Because now we can actually say the cure that the Chinese government is at least forcing on military personnel is worse than the disease. Almost half of the vaccine recipients reported a fever, 44% fatigue, 39% a headache, 9% described side effects that would have potentially prevented activity, as opposed to 80% plus of coronavirus symptoms, or excuse me, patients, or people who have, people who have contracted the virus, being completely asymptomatic. If you gave me the choice, would you rather have coronavirus or would you rather have a government solution imposed on you of forced unemployment, dependence on unreliable government relief and a vaccine with these side effects? Oh yeah, shoot me up with corona. The cure is worse than the disease. And seriously, I would at this point. I would rather get it over with. And if it wasn't for government making what I'm about to suggest impossible, this would be an option for you. Sooner you'd be able, you'd be able to go to a doctor. I'm healthy. Get screened. You're low risk for corona. We're going to just inject you with corona and monitor you and make sure you get 14-day self-stay-at-home quarantine. And you come out and now you're immune and you can't spread it to anybody else and nobody can limit your freedom with Corona as the excuse.
Ah, they can try. But no, a free, uh, excuse me, a, a freely available treatment that is effective? No, no, no. We can't have that because we have the government in charge of the response. And now it's, it is just even in and of itself scarily undeniable that the cure is worse than the disease. Thanks, China.